Okay, let's so let's fast forward a bit here. We've already been to uh, Port Renfrew. I found this um, bone on the beach. It's some kind of fish bone or something. But does anybody know what kind of bone this is? I've never seen one like that. Looks like there's teeth marks for teeth to go in, but I don't think those are teeth marks. But I don't know what kind of freaking bone is this. Don't know. Do you know? Timmy, got any ideas? No. Not well, this I bet time. you someone does. <laughs> Here I am once again. The land of dreams, Port Renfrew. My buddy Tim, look at that cedar log right there. They're all cedars. My buddy Tim, his best friend uh, Reagan, is coming in. He's an old school, uh, well, he's a young logger. And um, I'm going driftwood hunting. just seeing crazy cedar logs here but I'm not just gonna take any piece of wood today I'm gonna get we can find some special pieces yep I did bring my uh, little 170 and my little battery power saw oh, I also brought my gimbal a gimbal too so I might I don't even I didn't even sharpen the chains but I might try and carve a wood it's like a outline of a wood spirit on a log just for people to enjoy or something we'll see We'll see how the day goes. We could have a flat bottom boat. Right now this morning when we were camping, we could have that flat bottom. We could go out there, we could set chop. Fucking leave them all day and tonight when it's this black one. Drag the flat bottom boat out and go pick them. No way that boat couldn't do that, right? Dude, my dad, if I tell you that, he bought a fucking sick blow up rubber wrap. It's a little heavy but nice and compact. Yeah. For Okay, so the bros are getting the fire. Fuck, that's gonna get my saw dull and I wanted to carve a wood spirit. Well, you heard me? <laughs> Reagan, say hi to everybody in YouTube world. How you doing, YouTube? He's a, a log fall. Uh, you're a faller? Faller, yeah. Paul Timber on the coast. Hey, yeah, he's a faller. So. I guess I'm going to cut this and I'm going to go uh, just wood hunting. Pretty sweet, eh? This thing's been here for so long. You think that's uh, fur? What's that? You think that's cedar or fur? I think it's cedar. Just by the girth, like how big it is. Eh? Well, like, if it's been here for that long, it's it's still kept pretty well. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. That's what I'm going yeah. with. Look at these things are in here. I'm gonna carve a wood come carve a wood spirit on the one of these things, Tim. There you go. You carve a wood spirit right on here. Right into the cedar. Wow. I see a perfect cedar log right here to do it. That's not good. I don't think this is gonna go anywhere with high tides or anything, these ones, Tim. No, I don't. So these are very good. This thing hasn't moved, like I said, in, in probably 10, 12 years. Yeah. Wicked for the dealer. Hey Reagan, how much like say if you're gonna log a piece like this, how much do you think that would be worth? For like, yeah. Well, it's not really worth much because of the the defect. It's bent, right? Okay, but if say if that was this size of wood, like in meter wise. If yeah. I'm gonna say three. So high grade cedar, 2,700, 2,400 bucks. Yeah. So like. Just for the piece of wood. Do you guys get paid more for cedar that's first growth? Oh yeah, high grade, yeah. That's a high grade cedar, okay. High grade cedar for sure. Yeah. So one. do you call it you could you just but would you call it first growth or old growth. or old growth? old growth? Okay. Yeah. Old growth is naturally planted by the or by the tree, right? It's, yeah, it's it's just original growth, right? First first generation of growth. Right? Yeah, because it's you just you have these second growth blocks that are uh, second generation, right? And people plant them and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. people plant yeah. them. That's part of the gig, it's a renewable resource, right? Eagle, which one's that? Einer or Peter? Hey Pete! Einer! Doesn't listen to me, Tim. I got no spiritual shit inside of me. Okay, I do gotta watch how much I film on this beach because we're still going to that old forest too. Look at that big old root mass down there.
like I say in lots of my other videos, it's just uh, nice to be out here. I see a big old cedar root, man. Massive. Anyways, I can't see if this thing's filming. crazy there's a cool twisty looking piece so I'll grab that one on still there Upside down now. it's a carving I did with a, a girl I was dating she we came down here one day yeah I might spin around one year these shoes fucking suck. Next full moon, she'll spin around. That's a she's upside down wood spirit. <laughs> oh, he is upside down wood spirit. What the fuck's going on here? That is upside down. Too bad. Live life. Yeah. Bless you, bless you. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming for a bit, and if I see anything that's cool, I'll show you guys. Look at the swing that there, somebody put a swing on the stump thing tree. Oh, man, I bought some shoes from Walmart, and when I was leaving Walmart, I was like, Jordy, what are you, what are you, what are you thinking, man? Like, are you turning into your father? Not my real dad, but just like, you know, your dads would buy you cheap shoes, so they don't want to spend two hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. So I spent, uh, I got these ones for like twenty-five bucks. But then they're just like skater shoes. But I'm like, Jordy, no, no, no. You're gonna when you get back home from the island, you're gonna buy, go by yourself. You're gonna spend two hundred dollars, and you're gonna go buy yourself a nice pair of white Nike shoes. You're not, you're not gonna turn into that twenty-dollar shoe-wearing person. Anyways, there's the swing. Super cool. So what I was saying is, uh, I think I was saying that, I don't know, if my mind's been all over the map these last couple days. Um, I didn't really have anything planned to look for. It's good to have something planned, what you're looking for when you're going beach combing, right? But if this isn't really more about looking for wood to carve. It's more about just getting out of the house and taking a break from real life stuff, I guess. <sighs> Seen this piece? Looks all gnarly. See, this piece looks like it's a piece of cedar from the Hope Slides, but who knows, that piece. When I, when I beach comb, like looking for wood to carve, it's good to do it on my own, by myself, so I can concentrate and look for that special piece that I'm looking for, right? But. There's a nice piece of cedar.
root head. Okay, I'll be back. The amount of wood here is just friggin' well, it's unbelievable. So, you, the farther you go back away from the water, the drier the wood's gonna be because it's like all gray and stuff. So, don't be afraid, get take some of that stuff home and carve it, right? Because it's just the outsides that gray, like you get the beautiful color of the wood inside the wood, obviously. Just look at it all. I don't want to walk down here too much today because we still it's going to be a little bit of a hike when we get into that uh, whatever forest that we're going to after so there's Tim and them back there I might go back uh, head back towards them hey okay so I want to clar so clarify something here Another one you are you a, are you a logger or are you a faller I'm a faller but are fallers loggers? Yeah, you can classify us as loggers, yeah. Okay. We're all, all we're all a team. Okay, that's that's it. We're all a team. That's all. Thank you. Hot. Hey Timmy, can you yeah. how tall are you? Six foot something? Yeah. Can you go stand by that stump there, please? Just so people can see how uh big that's what do you think that is uh? What do you think that tree is there, pro? I don't know. Spruce. I'm just gonna call you a pro. Pro. The, we got a big old spruce here. Yeah. Look at the size of that sucker. It's just big old first growth, first growth. Or I mean old growth. They call it old growth. It's old growth spruce. That's what we got there. So this is kind of uh, wood that we get in our lumber stores. Lots of spruce. I hate carving it. It's like fuzzy. It's I don't hate carving it as much as uh, maple though. The mighty spruce! It's, it's been floating in the ocean for years. One time I came down here a couple years ago, there was a stump twice the size of this here. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're around. Yeah, she's spruce for sure. Canada spruce, not the Canada. How much do you think that log would be worth, like, if you just cut it here? Cut it here and go out with it? Fuck, I don't know, man. It's... You guys, you guys log spruce too, right? Yeah? Yeah, white wood, yeah, but it's definitely not as much as cedar. Cedar is the most expensive log you can cut. Yeah, it's, it's the highest it's ever been in history right now. Yeah, big buck. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, just, like, you got to keep me in the, the wood talk here. What's happening? Oh, we're just talking about how just hard, hard this wood is, like spruce, right? Spruce? Like, yeah, like you got your, see how it's, you don't see much, many trees with the fibers like this and stuff, right? Just a super strong wood. I Like uh, when I carve it, it seems soft. Seem soft here. and fuzzy, like yeah, like it, maple. It's, yeah, it's a hard wood though, right? Spruce is hard. Yeah, very hard. Like you got to cut those fuckers right off, or it's hard to go over. Uh, you know, for my channel, people send me wood to carve. Yeah. I, I'm from Australia. They send me a wood called it's the strong, it's the hardest wood in the world. It's called iron bark. Oh really? Yeah, and I've carved the most dense wood in the world from Mexico. I forget the name of it. it had a weird name, cool. but people send me wood from all over the world to carve. I've carved it. I've carved it almost. I've carved it all. We got a big chunk of uh, what's that? Uh, Blackwood from Africa. The fucking oh, right. that uh, the ebony, that is, ebony. About. Yeah. That's crazy. So. That's cool. Got to be a piece for you, though. But the worst, yeah, there, there should be the worst wood of it. I hate carving is maple. I hate it, man. I yeah. hate it. it yeah, it's just it's just not fun to carve. Anyways, so like, what's the have you ever cut cot cottonwood tree with big bark or? Not so much cottonwood, but uh, old growth fir, right? Old growth fir, you get bark on it like this. Holy! You gotta, you gotta carve it out so you see your cuts. And yeah, there's a guy that was cutting a cutting old fir snag, and he cut into the tree, and all the bark shit down from the top and buried him. Fucking killed them. Killed them ten feet deep. You were saying how many loggers have already passed away since? I think we got twelve. 12 fatalities since January. It's such a dangerous job. 
Yeah, it's pretty sad, man. Yeah, it's sad. Thanks, thanks for sharing that. Let's just carry on here. So I'm not really finding too too much treasures here today, but then again, am I really really looking? Yo, oh, what's up? Tim's called me. Hey, I just had a good idea. I was thinking about something. Have you ever thought about like finding a really cool piece like this and maybe like giving it back to your subscribers, giving one out for free to somebody? That's actually something that I've been doing lately. Yeah, I like to do that. Don't really? I? They, well, I don't know. This looks like a pretty cool piece. That's a just card. I don't know. I just found it on the ground. I, it was an idea that came to my head. It's a good idea. Well, maybe we should save this. You bring it home. Okay, let's do it. Sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna carve this. I'm gonna do it a giveaway. I call this piece a just carved rob piece with the hole in it, because I could take it like this. I, it's a good good piece you found, Tim. Yeah, nice. Eh? It's, yeah, it is. Both sides are cool. It is Douglas fir. Um, I could carve a wood Not spear. Good. Yeah, it's a little bit harder than cedar, but I can still carve it. And then I can carve like a little owl or bird to sit in the hole, right? Perfect. That'll so, do it, man. Okay, so on, in Tim's honor, I'm gonna carve this. I'm gonna give it a couple weeks to dry. I'm gonna carve it, and then I'm gonna have a giveaway from, we'll call it the West Coast. What should we call it, Tim? What should I call it video? The West Coast. West Coast giveaway. Yeah, simple as that. Man. Why do I need to make things complicated? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's just grab her and carry on. Let's start heading back. Good idea, Tim. Thanks. Gotcha. Okay, so we're basically back at the home camp. I, I am going to take that piece. I, was, I can't believe Tim that suggested that I do that giveaway. That's cool. Um, so I am going to do it once that piece dries. But if that piece dries and cracks, I found this piece too. It's a neat piece of root. So if that piece cracks really bad, I'll take this home just in case and carve this, something on here, like a cool wood spirit or some kind of weird monster or something, something fantasy. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, they're, I think they're getting the hot dogs, getting the fire going, getting the hot dogs going. And there's those poles there. So I'm gonna set up and do a time lapse and just do a quick wood spirit with my chainsaw, with my little battery saw, I guess. But I might block it out with my gas, then use my battery one. Well, Tim's got the camera now. We're gonna watch the man himself do a little uh, give back to Mother Nature here. <clears throat> we got Reagan. Bear season's coming up here, uh, beginning of April, so. Got a little glass on the side of the hill and see what he can see. Uh oh. like playing X's and O's for this guy. Anyways, little story here about uh, Mr. Jordy. Known this guy a long time, and I tell you, never in a million years could I think that he uh, could carve and do the stuff that he does like this. I, you know, we he used to have a hard time drawing the hangman when we used to play hangman together, so. Pretty awesome watching his talents evolve into such a passion. So yeah, I, I really enjoy when he comes out to the island here and 
comes and hangs out. Does. found some birch. Here there's not much or if any birch on Vancouver Island, but I'm quite sure if that's alder or birch, but it looks like birch. Maybe. Someone? Anyone out there verify that? Don't get a lot of birch here, so... glare from this side of the sun. You start to see depth, they, that wave was just wicked. Go watch a little set of waves over here. I think he should carve Renfrew in the bottom of that log so that if it ever goes anywhere, the log, like if it gets out of there and ends up on a different beach somewhere in time, it'll say, he should carve Port Renfrew into it. Where's the big set? Here we go. Couple more to go here. more I think the big ones coming. That was way bigger than that one, right? I think so, yeah. It looked like it was it sounded fucking huge too. Jordy, yeah. you have to carve like Rennie or Renfrew underneath. Sure, so yeah. that this beach ever gets. Oh, what's your name? And don't forget to sign your pieces. Nothing crazy, but people can see what it is. Rennie BC, that's awesome. And then I signed it and I put B free on the side. Hopefully it stays there for years to come. Sure it will. I want to find a big Gandalf pipe for him. I can carve that, no problem with them. Oh, for this guy? Yeah, it'd be sweet if you had like a big long pipe sticking out of a hole right there. Like a big long Gandalf one. Yeah, nice work, man. That's cool. Okay, three, two, one, cheese. Okay, hold on. 
Hey, let's Meet do it again. Juna. What's that? Meeting Juna. Three. Hey, yo, are those blundstones? Yeah. Steel toe? No. Three, two, one, cheese. Come on guys, let's see the let's see the whites. I don't smile with white cheese. Save me a fucking tuna fish sandwich? Okay, three, two, one, cheese. Okay, now I'll now I'll take a Now, pro, is that cedar or is that spruce? That's cedar. See, I see the little bug marks on there, the worm marks that would be underneath the bark when the tree was alive, but the, the cedar's bug prone, right? Tell us, pro. Cedar's what, sorry? Bug prone. Bugs can't go in cedar? Yeah, they can. Okay, special yeah. bugs? Yeah, I've seen them in them. Like, I've seen them in cedar for sure. Yeah, like... Uh, ants, mostly, I think. Carpenter ants. Yeah. yeah. I've done crowns on them. I've done one with a couple... I've done a couple crowns. Looks better, a lot better from far away. Tim says it looks like a piece of shit up close, but uh, thanks for the support, Tim. Read on, carry on. <laughs> yeah, hey, that, Tim, can you uh, mix out. me up one of those tuna sandwiches, please? You know what, Jordy, I will, because a tuna sandwich always tastes better if someone else makes it for you. Thank you so much, my brother. Kind of, is that uh, albacore? This is this is some um, skipjack. Cheap dope. Cheap dope. Yeah. George's here. Yeah. We need some more views so we can start getting some good albacore tuna. So, Clover Leaf, if you're listening, we need some good albacore tuna for our adventures on the beach. That's that's the best acting I've ever seen in my life so far on my YouTube that's channel. That's not too. acting. Oh, that's the real deal. Okay. This is as raw as Mother Nature. Better boy. Good job, Jim. The sandwich looks awesome. Is there butter on the bread? No. Okay. You could have done the pro, our pro, pro friend here, he has a scar. I asked him if we could talk about this because it might be personal, but he's got a scar on his face. Can we see it? It's right here. Does it go up your head? Yeah, it goes up a little bit there. I don't know if you can see it on video, 50, but it's... 57 it's, stitches. So what happened there? Well, I was in the back cut of a big cedar and I was standing on a blowdown. You got to remember to try and make it simplified so because people don't know terms. Right, so I was finishing a cut to pull a tree and I was on a blowdown log that was on a rock bluff. So I'm standing on the blowdown log. I'm in the back cut of a tree. The tree's about to go over and before it was going over, the tree that I was standing on started to go down the rock bluff. So what I did was I jumped off the tree that I was standing on and my saw hit something and it came back and went through my hard hat and clipped me in the back there. Good thing you were wearing a hard hat, it would have cut the half of your face right off. Probably. So you got it for any beginning people using, they're not the big chainsaws like you use, but for any beginning chainsaw car, you got any good safety advice? Yeah, keep a stiff, stiff upper left arm. When you're holding the when you hold the chainsaw, yeah, like just keep it kind of bent a bit, but just always have pressure there. And watch your tip. This part of your chainsaw here, you don't want kickback. This part of your chainsaw here is the most dangerous part of your saw. If you're gonna get a kickback, it's gonna be from this part of your saw. And don't use that part. No, try not to. For the beginners. For the beginners. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'll pay you 50 bucks later. Yeah. <laughs> so we left the beach in Port Renfrew. Good thing Tim brought uh, toilet paper. I'll just leave it at that because I would hate to use my socks today. Don't you guys don't deny it. You've probably used your socks, maybe even a t-shirt before. But I'm wearing my favorite socks today, so let's go see where Tim and them are. You got some party animals here. It's okay they leave this stuff like that. They shouldn't leave their masks here, but somebody will come by and pick up these cans. What there's like two dollars sitting here. In cans? No, oh, yeah. I was ready to start picking them up. So what's this called, Tim? This is the San Juan River. San Juan River. And the, the ocean is right there. The river Port Renfrew. There's some scenery for you, Evil Rick. British Columbia. The next couple weeks, I'm going to start a little bit storage locker. I got a couple of things out. I got a couple 
this time. How many times have you moved? Yeah. So now we're going down the Gordon Road, Texas. Gordon River, Gordon River Main Line. Back to Lake Cow. Lake Cow, the gates all fucking closed. Stop and show you guys this beautiful pool. Look at that water. This is Tim says it's the Gordon River. Go fishing in there. I'm not getting out of the truck. I gotta save my energy. Yeah, that's that's beautiful water right there. Yep. Big drop. That's a big drop, man. Okay, so we are here. 